the risk of type 2 diabetes specifically include uh, gestational diabetes uh, or giving birth to baby who weighed over nine pounds. Another risk of uh, type 2 diabetes is prediabetes, uh, overweight and abnormal BMI, both men, women, children, is a, a risk factor for type 2 diabetes age. Uh, usually people 45 and older have higher risk, but anybody can have a type 2 diabetes at any age. Familiar history is a, a big risk factor for type 2 diabetes. Physical inactivity is also a risk factor. In fact, CDC indicated that physical activity less than three times per week, uh, you know, is considered, you know, a risk factor. Race and ethnicity, African Americans, Hispanic, Latino, American Indians, Alaska Native, uh, Pacific Islander, and Asian Americans have higher risk of type 2 diabetes. Why are we doing this today? If you look in the United States, the prevalence of type 2 diabetes is uh, about 9%. Uh, this is about 2021 data. Now, if you look at it over uh, more than 27 million, uh, sorry, 37 million people in the U.S. have di the diabetes. The medical cost and lost work wages for people with diabetes is over 300 and around maybe 327 billion yearly. And I say billion with a B. So 327 billion yearly. Diabetes is eight leading cause of death in the U.S., number one cause of kidney failure, lower limb amputation, adult onset blindness, and a leading cause of heart disease and stroke. Now I live in California. California prevalence of uh, uh, type 2 diabetes is uh, 11%. That's above federal level, which I just mentioned, 9%. Uh, it and it's also in California a leading cause of death in California. Now, I say this, all this to say that type 2 diabetes can be prevented or delayed with lifestyle modification, including healthy nutrition, uh, weight loss uh, for individuals who are overweight. There is no shame or guilt. This is pure science, and we can do this. We all can do this. So, and uh, that being said, uh, I'm happy that Dr. Jerry, this did this study and 